Oh. That is bitter. Just drinking a little Underberg after my uh, dinner tonight. And uh, if you've never had it before, it is quite bitter. Almost as bitter as these movies that I watched tonight. It's not true. I don't know why I said that. But welcome to another episode of tonight's Double Feature. My name is Paul Brooks. Um, and tonight we're going to be talking about... It says it right on the box here. Look, it says... Gorilla's Gone Wild. I was originally going to call this episode Awesome Apes. I thought that that would make a good title, but then I actually saw on the front of this box here Gorilla's Gone Wild and I said, "I'm going to I'm, I'm going to go with that." So thumbnail, let's just do that. You know. Ring light problems per usual. Yeah. And um, yeah, as you can see here, I have this uh, little box set called Sons of Kong, and it's 10 full length movies on DVD. And uh, it's Gorilla's Gone Wild. This box set cost me, I think, $2.98 on oldies.com. If you have uh, checked out my personal channel, if you've seen some of the videos on B-Movie Mania, you guys might know that I am quite the um, fan of oldies.com. And I found this box set on oldies for $2.98, and I said, uh, I got to do it. There's, I mean, what do, you, what, do you, what do you do when you get 10 freaking movies for under $3? And stick around to the end of the video because I want to show you something really exciting, really special. The thing that sold me on buying this box set beyond the fact that it was $2.98. Stick around. I promise you, you are going to be wowed by what is inside. And speaking of, let me um, I pulled the uh, slip case off to get out the you know, I'll just show you the whole thing you got the catalog there from Alpha you got uh, all the other movies on these discs right here but the two movies that I watched were on this little paper on this DVD inside this paper sleeve that you just you just tuck it right there and it's fine but uh, I was going to show you I don't know if you can see this or not yeah I watched two movies I watched The Ape Starring Boris Karloff. And then, uh, is it that one right there? Yeah. Bella Lugosi meets a Brooklyn gorilla. Starring Bella Lugosi, of course. And let's actually start with Bella Lugosi meets a Brooklyn gorilla. It's one of those movies that, if you're like me and you buy DVDs, especially if it's uh, packs of horror movies... 50 packs, 20 packs, 5 packs, whatever the case may be. Um, inevitably, Bella Lugosi meets a Brooklyn Gorilla is always on them. I don't know if it's royalty free or um, in the public domain, rather. But for whatever reason, it's on a lot of these box sets. Because I think it's just cheap to put on there. Or maybe free to put on there. You know, like Night of the Living Dead. Um... And I watched this movie the other night, um, and I realized that I had seen it once before, and I remembered, <laughs> I suddenly remembered how, how difficult of a movie it is to get through. Um, Bela Lugosi is in the movie for quite a bit, but you know, this is one of those movies that is obviously pretty old, it's from the, I think, mid-50s, and... It's one of those situations where it's like a jungle movie, so there's people dressed up. It hasn't aged well, let's put it that way, for, for one thing. But then the other thing about this movie, and I did a little research after I watched it, I guess it caused a decent amount of controversy back in the day because there are these two actors in the film 
Um, and I don't think that they're going to be... Li oh, they are. Um, Duke Mitchell and Sammy Petrillo. Petrillo? Petrillo? I'm not quite sure how to say his last name. Both of them have, have passed on. But they were uh, the stars of this film, really. Bella Lugosi's in it a fair bit, but... Those two guys are the stars of the movie, and it's basically a comedy routine. I mean, the movie's definitely a comedy, but they have a comedy routine that is very similar to, um, oh, uh, now I'm blanking, Dean Martin and um, Jerry Lewis. So Sammy Petrillo is sort of the Jerry Lewis character, and... Um, Duke Mitchell is sort of the Dean Martin character. And from what I understand, the performance that they give in this movie um, caught the attention of Dean Martin and uh, Jerry Lewis, and they were not happy about it. And I think that they were actually planning on suing them for stealing their act. I don't think it ended up happening. I think that they eventually let it go or whatever. But the point is, it's, it's uh, I guess, controversial because it's maybe not the most original act or style of performance in this film. And it was so difficult for me because uh, it's, it's, just, it's just not funny. I mean... <laughs> Obviously, maybe a really long time ago, people thought that the sort of wacky antics going on in this movie were funny. I don't think they did. I don't think when this movie came out, it even did very well. Um, and, you know, what's his name? Sammy Petrillo. Apologies uh, to anyone out there who might be watching who's a big Sammy fan. But he is so grating and so annoying in this movie that it is nails on a chalkboard for it's actually not that long of a movie I think it's only like 67 minutes or something like that ape man is 67 minutes let me pull this out here oh uh, actually Bella Lugosi meets a Brooklyn gorilla is 74 minutes so that makes a little more sense because the whole time I'm like how much longer can this go on um, it's 74 minutes, but it feels like 174 minutes. I don't recommend it. It's, <laughs> unless you're a Bella Lugosi completist or something like that, and you absolutely, if that's the case, though, you've probably seen it by now. Um, uh, there is a really cute chimpanzee in the movie. I can't remember what her name is. Um, starts with an R. Rachel or something like that. Rachel doesn't sound right. Um, anyway, she's cute. There's a really cute chimp in the movie. And then the gorilla, the Brooklyn gorilla, the titular Brooklyn gorilla is obviously just a guy in a suit, which is kind of the problem with a lot of these older ape movies is that uh, the idea of getting actually scared by any of them is pretty much non-existent you know it was just a different time and obviously they were not able to do you know the type of things that uh we can do now with uh all the new king kong movies coming out um so yeah you know bella lugosi meets a brooklyn gorilla not great can't say that i recommend it it's n you're not going to have a good time with it if it's the sort of thing where you want to get some friends together and drink and watch it it's probably still not going to be a good time um but it was one of the 10 uh, full-length movies on Sons of Kong here. So I uh, went ahead and watched it. The second movie, I am pleased to report, uh, went a little bit better for me. If you can see it on the back there in the corner, it's Boris Karloff in The Ape. And this one I hadn't seen before. Um... Uh, I think the whole Karloff Lugosi thing has been pretty well documented. That apparently there was a little bit of a 
rivalry there because obviously one was Frankenstein and one was Dracula, but I have to say that uh, Karloff definitely wins this round between these two particular films. The Ape was um, by no means a masterpiece, but it was a more serious film. It's not a comedy. It's about uh, Karloff is this scientist who is trying to um, help this girl who has polio which was obviously a big thing back in the day. And he has concocted this new formula that he thinks is going to cure her condition. Um, but it turns out, I'm trying to remember because I was not <laughs> fully engaged the entire time, but I think basically he um, has to kill people in order to get the serum that he needs in order to save this girl because it's in your like spinal column or whatever spinal cord um and so what he ends up doing there's an ape <laughs> there's an ape in the movie and uh the ape escapes from I can't remember if he's in a zoo or what not a <laughs> not my favorite movie of all time obviously but the ape escapes runs into Karloff's lab eventually. Karloff is able to, um, spoilers, I guess, uh, subdue the ape, kills the ape, wears the ape, cut, like, wears the fur of the ape, to, like, becomes the ape, basically, the gorilla, and um, then goes around killing people in order to get enough spinal column fluid uh, to save this girl um and you can probably figure out where it goes from there he gets his comeuppance eventually because you can't do that you can't go around dressing like an ape and killing people even if it's for a good cause you just can't do it but like i said a little bit more enjoyable of a movie. And I'm really happy that I have this set because there's eight other movies on here. Again, most of them look like they probably haven't aged well. But what are you going to do? Do one more thumbnail just in case. Um, and I promise you at the end of the video for a surprise. Here it is. This is why I picked up this box set. Again, if you go back to the slip cover here. If you notice, there's a little bit of a thing right here. And if you open this up, boom, look at that. You get this neat little scene where it's like a 3D, you know, little piece of scenery there that you can put action figures in there and, and you know, run away from uh, King Kong. So, I mean, you know, for $2.98, you get two movies, uh, two movies, ten movies, and you get this amazing little uh, diorama, if you will, little little display stand even. I mean, you could, you know, put some King Kong action figures or some Godzilla action figures in there, and you're good to go. So, yeah, very happy that I... Uh, have this go head over to uh, oldies.com if you're interested and pick up your very own sons of kong box set because there are some gorillas in there going absolutely wild uh and i wanted to point out as well on the back here it says gorillas gone wild return to an age when bad monkeys ruled the movies did they was that a thing I guess it was. I mean, look at all these movies from back in the day. People used to like bad monkeys for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching per usual. Um, hope you're doing well, and we will see you on the next episode of tonight's double feature.